Uh, good afternoon from Glasgow and welcome to a short, at least I hope it's short, tasting of two or possibly just one depending on how you look at it, Chianti Classico Gran Selezione. So the wines we're looking at here are from Poggio Val Sole in Tuscany in the heart of Chianti Classico and this really was all stimulated last year at the Decanter World Wine Awards for 2019 when their Gran Selezione, their top of the pyramid wine, uh, the Casa Siria, won one of the Platinum Awards and was highly fated with the following description. And you don't get descriptions like this very often. This wine gushes with aromas of black and red fruits, mint, chalk, dried herbs, and the vanilla and spice of high quality oak, which lead onto a full bodied yet velvety palette with finely detailed tannins. And this is the bit. It really pulsates with its energy, mesmerising your palate as it swoops by, culminating in a long and elegant finish. Don't get descriptions in award uh, tasting notes like that very often. And we were curious, we imported the wine, we brought it in, and by and large you loved it, which was great. As ever with these things, that award winning vintage ultimately runs out. We ran out of stock about three or four weeks ago. And so we've been in touch with Valentino at Poggio Al Sole about bringing in the next vintage. And in fact, it's really a question of bringing in the next vintages because the 2016 uh, is almost out. In fact, if we're lucky, we're going to get 150 bottles of this to bring to the UK. The 2017 is now unreleased. So the question is, with what was such a stunning top-end Chiesi Chianti Classico, how do these marry up? And I think... It's always going to be a tough one because the 15 was a very powerful, deep, one might even say sort of heavy vintage, actually. It was very ripe, very full on. It, it lacked nothing in power. And for those of you that have seen the tasting we did on two other recent decanter top scoring Chianti Classico top end wines from Tenuta di Bibiano and also from Tenuta Perano, it's interesting that what we had there, the Bibiana was a very big, powerful, full-on wine. The other, and almost you, you might argue something of a New World style, it was so powerful. And a slightly more de-geared, lighter, old world, classic style Chianti in the form of the Pirano. In a way, I think the original Casa Siria, the 2015, fell in a gap between those two I've just discussed. It was almost the sort of Goldilocks porridge of being powerful, full-on, but still having all of the, its tannins and acidity in, in, in great balance. Well, let's try these two and see how they compare. The 16. And this is a little difficult because the 15 isn't here. We haven't got any more 15. I can't get hold of any 15. It's very easy to, or very difficult in fact, to compare it directly. The 16 is again a stunning wine. I think from memory and from my tasting notes, this is slightly more restrained. It's still big, it's more power, it's, it's still powerful. There, it's got all those classic notes. The oak in it is lovely, there's plenty of vanilla in there for those that like their oak. It's not overpowered. When this is made, this is a mixture of new French barriques and great big old classic Austrian oak um, to try and balance that out. And what you have, I think, is a wine which does all those classic, classic Chianti Classico things. It has its tannins, it has its acidity, it has plenty of, of red fruit to it. You know, this, this old joke about Italian wines, it always tastes of cherries. Well, Chianti Classico for me is mainly red cherries and sour cherries, but this, this is, there's a whole lot of black cherry going on in there. And black cherry is a flavour that I tend to associate with the south of Italy, sort of thing you expect to run into in Taurasi and other wines made from the Alianico grape. This, this is darker, this is deeper than most Chiantis you run into. And it's, I think, for me, I think I probably prefer it to the 2015, you know, to the extent one can remember a year on. And that is that it, it is just a little bit more elegant, a little bit more balanced. It's not quite so full on. I actually, by and large, like that style of Chianti very much. Beautifully balanced. You know, is it as good as the 15? Is it better than the 15? Really difficult to say, but this is still a fantastic, grand, great Gran Selezione. Really engaging, probably more in the classic mould, I would say, of top end Chianti Classico. The 17 is interesting. Um, This only went in bottle early this year, back in January. And you can tell that. It is a younger wine in every sense. It is a year younger, clearly, than this one. It is a lighter wine, 
If you actually look at the colours, and it's a little difficult to tell in this light, but the 16 is quite a lot darker. The 17 looks more like a classic Chianti. I would say the 16 is, you know, has a certain darkness and a depth to it, almost like a Bordeaux. But this, it's lighter, it's more fragrant. I would say that its components have still to meld. The, the tannins, the oak, the fruit, in a way they're almost a bit separate. It's a bit like when you make a spaghetti bolognese, if you'll forgive me, and I'm not sure that Valentino will. But you know, you use a bit of a bit of tomato and you use a bit of Worcester sauce. And when you've just put them together, you can taste the tomato and you can taste the Worcester sauce. Leave the whole lot together for a week in the fridge, then you go to cook it and eat it. Ah, it's great. Those flavours I would say have not fully melded as yet. I'm sure a few months from now they will be well and truly integrated. It's lighter than the 16. The 16 is lighter again than the 15, I think. Again, I think this is brilliant. If you tasted this in isolation without the 16, you would say it's still a fabulous Chianti Classico uh, top end wine from the, from the Gran Selezione. You, you've got to you've got to like that. It's lighter. It has distance to travel. I think it will keep extremely well. The 16, I think, will drink brilliantly now. Uh, I think also it's clearly going to keep five, six, seven years on, at the very least, based on the acidity and tannin profile you see there. So. Trying to answer a question from the outset, which is this as good as the original award winner? I think the 16 definitely is. I think I probably prefer it, actually. 17, it's a little too early to tell. I don't think if you put that on your shelf, you'd be disappointed with it. I think in a couple of years, it's going to be an amazing, amazing show. And uh, these are wines to drink and to enjoy. And I think top marks to Poggio Arsole for producing, once again, a top-end Chianti, which is really worthy of the name.